Oh, hi there. Welcome to my channel. My name is Leah and it's Ravenclaw Day. I have been doing a series on Harry Potter inspired makeup looks. I'll link it up here. And um, today is Ravenclaw. I've done Slytherin and Gryffindor so far. Hufflepuff is up next week. And I had a blast doing this look. It's something I would probably never wear. Blue is not my color, but it's really fun to play with colors I wouldn't typically reach for. All right, so if you want to see how I did this look, please make sure to stay tuned. But before we get started, I would absolutely love it if you would hit that subscribe button down below and give this video a thumbs up. It really, really helps out my channel. All right, let's get going. Today for this look, I'm going to be going in a completely different order of application than I usually do. I typically start with foundation and primer, brows, and then do my um, eyes. But today I'm going to be doing a Ravenclaw inspired look. So that means a lot of blue and probably a little bit of black. So I'm going to have a lot of fallout that'll probably end up on my face. So I'm going to do my foundation last. Now we're getting started. I'm going to be using the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in the shade Light 10. And I'm going to use that as a shadow base. I'm going to be starting with the Nightingale palette from Pretty Vulgar. I'm choosing this one because it's very cool and it has a lot of blue tones in it. Um, so I'm going to be starting with this shade here called Silver Spoon and working on my outer corners and then we're going to build up a brighter blue from there. So this is just going to kind of be the base. Next I'm going to use this shade right here from ColourPop. It's called Quantum Sleep. It's kind of a shimmery royal blue and it's going to just build right on top of what we did here. Um, I used the first layer just kind of as a, like, a deepener because I wanted this color to be really um, kind of mysterious and blue. All right, now I'm going back to the Nightingale palette and I'm gonna grab this deep, almost black shade down here called All Nighter and do just the tiniest bit of definition right in the crease and on the outer corners. Now that that part's laid down, the fun part is going to happen right now. I'm going to take my same ColourPop concealer and this little flat brush from Alamar Cosmetics and carve out my eyelid and then we're going to have some really fun with glitter. Now I'm switching over to the Grandiose palette from Ace Beauté because this shade right here is so perfect for this look. The Ravenclaw colors are blue and copper and I thought this shade here and maybe a little bit of this one here are going to be perfect. So I'm going to actually just apply it to the um, dry down concealer with my ring finger and then I'm going to blend it a little bit with a brush.
Finally, for this part of the eyes, I'm going to be using apparently the best palette for Harry Potter inspired looks. I think I've used this on every look. Um, but I will be using this top corner in the NYX Sprinkle Town Chocolate Shake. Um, it's kind of, it's like a creamy glitter, but it's great to just tap on with a finger and it shines so crazy. So I'm going to just put that right where it blends here a little bit. Okay, now that that part is done, I'm going to just grab a makeup wipe and clean up the edges here and then we're going to the rest of the face. For foundation today, I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Infallible Total Coverage because it's really dry so my skin is really red and kind of splotchy today and I find that this covers really, really well. Brows today, I'm using the Shady Slim Brow Pencil from LA Girl, and this is in Blackest Brown. I think when I repurchase this, I'm gonna go one shade lighter. It does look just a teensy too black on me. All right, brows are done. They just look a little funny to me today. I think I'm just, it's they're just a little too dark, and I did extend the wing just a little bit so it would kind of meet up um, with the shadow, but they're done. So now I'm gonna bronze, and I'm gonna be using Hula from Benefit. I went and popped on my lashes and I haven't cursed so much at a makeup product in ever. These were so difficult to get on. They are the Ardell 203 Black Double Up lashes. So this is the second time only that I've used them and they are a one time. They're very dramatic and very pretty, but holy moly, they were really, really hard to put on. The band is super thick and um, I, um, and on my lips, I have Lip Sense in the shade Pumpkin Spice, and it matches perfectly. So, I kind of love it. All right, you guys, so that is the finished Ravenclaw-inspired look. What do you guys think? I had a really good time experimenting with this. I think it looks really fun, and I love that this little palette has been the best, like, sparkly little fun thing for this entire series. All right, and with that, I thank you guys so much for watching. Hufflepuff is up next week, and I can already tell you it's going to be the best one because I am a Hufflepuff. <laughs> I don't know if that's going to make it true or it might be a total disaster. We'll see how it goes. If you like this video, please make sure to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe so you can see more videos like this. All right, you guys have a super great rest of your day and we'll see you in the next video. Bye, 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 bye.